The technician starts out by obtaining a sample Next, the technician takes the specimen and places it into the mold. Note how the technician rotates the mold as to how it should be positioned in the chuck. The technician places the specimen just south of center and parallel with the slide that will be dropped onto the section. When adding the mounting media, notice how the technician slowly applies the media to the outer edge of the tissue first. This is done to prevent air bubbles from forming. Gently place the button onto the mold while making sure all edges are even. When placing the specimen into the isopentane, allow it to hover for 10 seconds before letting it drop to the bottom. This will ensure that the button doesn't shift before the media freezes. Now wait for about a minute to a minute and a half. Take the mold out and immediately place it into the cryostat. The block will melt quickly. To get the block out, grab the sides of the mold and give it a slight soft twist. The block should easily pop out. Now place the block into the chuck with the orientation that you set up while grossing the specimen. Ensure everything is tight. Zero out the chuck. Make sure the chuck is all the way back. Notice how the yellow light is on? Advance the chuck until the light turns off. Now drop the chuck and slowly bring the blade to the block. Slowly advance the block with the soft advance button while rocking the wheel. Observe where the blade is hitting. Once you get a good idea where the blade is hitting, apply the XY technique as necessary. Move the block back a bit with the soft button. Slowly advance the block to see where it is hitting the blade. If the XY is still off, readjust. In practice, this should only take you three times to fix. Again, move the block back. 
Slowly advance the block to see where the blade is hitting. Notice the technician is hitting the soft advance quickly. This is to help prevent aggressive facing. Now that the block is properly aligned, the technician will throw away about 8 to 10 sections. Move the blade over to the unused side. Move the block back slightly and throw away another 5 to 8 sections. Clear away any debris. To obtain a section, use the brush to gently glide the section down. By gliding it, you prevent the section from sticking to the brush and faceplate. Once you have a full section, gently roll the brush off to prevent the section from sticking or tearing. Drop the slide directly onto the section. Throw away two to three sections between taking sections. Continue these techniques to obtain all remaining sections.